What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at the new pricing options for Twinmotion. This is not like anything glamorous, but I am actually pretty excited to talk about it because it has uh, implications that I didn't expect. Uh, we all kind of knew that starting January 2022, the pricing would be updated and we wouldn't necessarily have the free licenses that we had when we came from Twinmotion 2019, whenever Epic Games first acquired twin motion but all that to say i'm very excited about you know these different pricing options and i also want to compare it to some other programs with that let's look at twin motions pricing options obviously we just came out with 2022 of course uh, we are aware of that which is really exciting but here we go so first we have free trial which is really cool this is nice to see you know it's always good i would imagine most programs now have free trials and that's kind of something you'd expect to see obviously then we have an educational license which is really kind of cool and then finally a commercial license so focusing first on the free trial this is just anyone can have it anytime all the latest features all learning materials we don't we can't export in full resolution we're limited to 2k which is 1080 so like that's not an obscenely low resolution it's pretty typical and then we have early access to the twin motion cloud cool that's great to have we'll we can deal with that more later on. So, uh, but then we don't. We obviously with free, we can't. We're not valid for a commercial project. So, clearly, just saying this now. Obviously, we have to use the commercial license if we're using this for commercial reasons. So, um, I'm not saying that we're trying to focus on one or the other, but we're looking at just these three independently. What they can do. Um, I want to then skip to the commercial license. Obviously, this basically just gives us everything, and that's great. Uh, the thing here is that we want to note that this gives us free upgrades for one year. So basically this is 2022 through 2023. Great. Um, it is, it's, it's funny the way they say it because it's called a fixed seat, which whatever fixed seat, yeah, it's yours. But then it's a perpetual license tied to your Epic Games account. I don't like the way perpetual license is being thrown around the industry now because this is not perpetual. <laughs> this is a yearly subscription is what it is. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm rephrasing this perpetual license to be yearly subscriptions for you so you know that this is not what you pay and you have it forever and you get all the free upgrades forever. Because come 2023, you don't get all the upgrades. Now, the only difference in that this not being a truly yearly subscription is that it is perpetual in that you will own this version, 2022, forever in that you'll get free upgrades for one year so you'll get all the way through 2020 to 2023 but as soon as that year is up you don't get new updates and you're stuck with what you have then which i mean let's be honest the whole point of having something cool and new and everything is that you can continue to get updates for not ever but like as long as you need it and so in theory there's going to be a great new update that they're going to come out with when 23 comes out because of course marketing all that business whatever uh, so be aware of that and so i want to say i want to make sure that we're accounting for this being basically 500 dollars a year cool now let's switch over to the education license because i find this very interesting and so basically what this says is obviously it's for students and educators um, but primarily for learning teaching and research it's not commercial work so like for example, if you're in school or literally if you're in an office, they don't have twin motion and you want to try out twin motion just with your work, but like you don't use it for actual commercial reasons, then this, this is the perfect, perfect version for you. And why is that? It is because you, of course, get all the, the features, but the, really the only difference between the free and the education is that you have full resolution exporting, which is great. Not that you necessarily need to do that. Um, but that's cool. And so you have literally everything that you need except for the ability to legally use this in commercial license licenses. And not only is the free trial and education license both free, but these will continue to get all of the latest updates regardless of it going from 2022 to 2023. It's always free. You know, just the fact that you're using commercial is the only time that that would apply. And it's 500 bucks a year, which is debatably the cheapest in the industry and for what you get out of this program i think this is amazing i <laughs> i wish they were sponsoring this video or something because clearly i have a lot of good things to say and they're not just to let you know 
um, I'm just encouraging you myself to use this because I love it and I've done plenty of videos giving, getting you off the ground to give you an idea how to use it but also why it's really great. Now I want to compare this to perhaps the actual <laughs> industry leading program that I do enjoy, have used a lot and do love but have mixed feelings about come twin motion and that is Enscape. Enscape is awesome, Enscape is great, it does a lot of things and perhaps the coolest thing recently is this latest news, Enscape and Chaos, or V-Ray, have now merged into one company. What they do with that, I don't know. Which might make Enscape more valuable, I don't know. Um, my only hope is that they do, because let's start to look at the pricing options. This is where I have issues with the pricing, one, but two, everything else that the program has to offer, not everything, but pieces of what the program is, when I'm comparing to Twin Motion, I can't help compare everything to Twin Motion because to me, Twin Motion not only is the cheapest option, but it is clearly the most feature like rich. It has so many features, it has everything and more that Enscape can do. And let's just compare the price here. So we have a trial that is only two weeks and that's free. Cool. A trial is great, but immediately comparing to the free trial that literally doesn't ever go away. And you get, I mean, it just doesn't go all go away at all. You can get a new free trial of the next upgrade. Easy. Not 14 days, but forever. Then it gets into the floating license. Floating's great. This is, I, I would never consider a floating license unless I were in a firm buying multiple uh, seats for many machines, obviously. Here applied to multiple machines across a network. Cool. Makes sense. That's why you would do that. And then fixed seats, obviously, if you want to have a fixed seat, you know, like this is this is this person's in the office and it never changes. Well, it's a couple more dollars a month. Now, if you pay this for a year, it's 40 bucks, which is debatably pretty cheap. I mean, it is. It's this starts to get reasonable. Now, obviously, you're paying this for an entire year. And depending on how many licenses you need, I don't know. The, all, of course, all this plays into the fact that, oh, you know, commercial stuff. Obviously, we're talking about commercial stuff here because we're talking about pain and getting the appropriate amount of value. So let's come over here. If I immediately pull up our calculator, we want to look at what $500 a year would get us. And, you know, basically, what is that per month? And that's 41 bucks a month, which is actually very comparable to the fixed seat license. And that's perfectly fine. You know, of course, after tax and everything, they're going to be very similar, just a couple of dollars off. And that's cool. Um, but the biggest thing here is that when you switch from year to monthly, boom, they, that is, that's ridiculous. Of course, bringing up the calculator again, if we factor this out, which you would never do this, basically $70 a month times 12 is that's ridiculous. 840 bucks. You wouldn't do this, obviously. Now you might do the floating, that's kind of a big deal. I know in my office we have a number of floating licenses, and because we have a bulk number, this may, this number may not be you know sixty seven seventy dollars. Let's say it's about fifty, which is a huge discount even. So even at fifty bucks, that's all. That's a hundred bucks more a year for a floating license than your twin motion, your free well not free but your commercial twin motion, of course, and so. At this point, you could say they're both kind of floating in that you can take your license anywhere, whether you're working with Enscape or Twin Motion, as long as you have your Epic Games account for Twin Motion or you just have it, you know, you're able to log in uh, for Enscape on another computer. That's perfectly fine. So the fact that it's floating just means that anyone in, in the network can use it. And so I want to talk about specifically one person. I know this might apply to a lot of people in a firm, so that's kind of something to be aware of. So the only way that Enscape gets close to Twin Motion on like pure dollars for commercial dollars is if you buy the full year of a fixed seat. And that is that's if I were gonna buy it myself for the work I do by myself or at the firm, whatever it is, commercial work, forty bucks a month is obviously basically the same as five hundred dollars a year. It's close. That being said, every other option with Enscape is not. I'm not knocking it, but that's just the reality of what it is. And again, the biggest difference I see is the fact that we have a free trial that you can just download the new, any new upgrades 
after basically re-download the trial after any new upgrades come out. And then the educational license, you actually get all the updates. Like, you, why don't you just do this if you're trying to learn anyways? Now, these play these don't play at all into the fact that the commercial license is required if you're working in commercial. Uh, these, I just factor in extra value because you can use these, you can lose, use the whole program and everything that it has to offer up until the point you need something commercial, which means that everyone in the whole office can learn it, use it, whatever, and then you can ultimately get as many as you need for 500 bucks a year, essentially, to just to use it for commercial reasons. Now, with that, you know, take this for what you will. Obviously, I'm not trying to change opinions. I'm just trying to inform you about how these work financially. And then finally, then I would say the next biggest one, next biggest competitor, something close enough is Lumion, which don't get me wrong, Lumion is beautiful. And Lumion, I would say, is, you know, it is very much close to Twinmotion. It is a lot closer to Twinmotion than it is Inkscape. Now, this has just been Lumion's stick forever. And that is the pricing, which, like it or not, it is what it is. So here is just the, these are just the upgrades. So besides that, let's look at actually buying this. And we can see immediately, this is just a significant amount of money. So, and this is in euros. So 1,500 euros happens to be 1,671 US dollars. And then the, the pro version, 3,000 euros is $3,343. That's so much money. And so even if we take the non-pro version of the standard, which means we don't get everything that the program has to offer, and we take the $1,671, and we divide that by 12, if we want to get the upgrades every year, that's $140 a month. This is literally $100 more per month than Inkscape and Twinmotion. Like, that's absurd. And I, I'm not saying it's not worth it or whatever. Every, again, everyone has their own opinions. Um, but the fact that this would be even, like, you can double this for <laughs> for the pro version. Can you imagine paying this per month? I mean, you have to be making some serious cash either alone or in your firm to make this worth it. And I know a lot of firms do, clearly, or else this product wouldn't exist or it wouldn't be this expensive. So all of that to say, this is the same licensing as twin motion in that you have to deal with this kind of perpetual license they call it but not really it's a yearly subscription assuming you want the latest updates upgrades and with that that means you're gonna have to deal with these upgrades which are astronomical i mean you look at this let's say you're fine and you say i'm gonna buy lumion 12 pro for you know 3300 bucks you know however many thousands of dollars, and then I'm, I'm going to sit on it for two years. I'm going to be fine with it. I'm not going to care about the new features that come out until Lumion 14. Okay, that's great. Well, I mean, this is, I'm sure it would be more than this, but let's say you had, you did that, but looking at the numbers from Lumion 10, that was you know, basically going from 10 Pro to 12 Pro is 2,000 euros. That's basically buying it again, you know, like two-thirds of it anyway which is so crazy. And so there is a lot of cost impact to, to be aware of when it comes to Lumion. Like it is great. Don't get me wrong. There's tons of features. It looks beautiful. It's fairly easy to use. But if we're talking about that, like that becomes a big deal when twin motion enters the game and it has. And the fact that this is 500 bucks a year and there's no stipulations like that is it. It's very simple, you know, like, and this 500 bucks a year, it's not like you don't lose, you lose Twin Motion itself. When it, you stop paying, you get to keep that version just like you would in Lumion. So uh, the difference is that Inkscape is purely subscription based. Like if you stop paying this, you just, you lose it, period. There's nothing that you get to keep or get to use after the fact. Uh, you can always use your watermark trial, which is terrible. Um, but besides that, you know, this might might be less to pay per month, but in the end, it's still competing very well with Twin Motion, and you get to keep stuff with Twin Motion, and you get to keep stuff with Lumion. But we know this is absurdly priced, um, maybe rightfully so, but even comparing to Twin Motion, I don't think so. It's not, you know, ten times, you know, five to ten times the price. You're not getting five to ten times the features. Um, so I'll leave that up to you. But really, that's going to do it for this video. We looked at 
the different pricing strategies types and primarily what I'm excited about is this free trial and educational license that I didn't expect to see with twin motion. We compare this, all of this, uh, commercially mainly to Enscape and Lumion, which are quite interesting. So I'm curious, leave me comments below about what you think on the new twin motion pricing strategy versus Enscape and Lumion, or if you like Lumion or Enscape more, like what those might be and why it's worth it to you, things like that. I'm really curious to know, so let me know. Uh, so that will do it. If you happen to learn something or just like the video, please demolish that like button. Really, really helps me out a lot, and I really thank you all who have. So I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day, and thank you very much for watching.